Foot Dancing Banana! Flags of the world. <laughs> the flag of Canada features a white center, two red bars on either side, and a shape in the middle. What is that shape? <laughs> Puzzling Puzzlers! The Dancing Banana's brother has three sons. Each of his sons has a sister. How many children does the Dancing Banana's brother have? Nonsense non sequiturs. Can a match box? Nonsense non sequiturs. Road work ahead. Nonsense non sequiturs. Hello, is your refrigerator running? Monumental landmarks.
Mount Rushmore in South Dakota's Black Hills is known as the Six Grandfathers to the Native American tribe that used to live there and is considered sacred ground. What is the name of that tribe? What's the word? <laughs> this ancient Moai head straight from Easter Island is an ancient statue. <laughs> My foot. Sorry, but have you seen what they're doing with AI these days? They're using it to replicate speech, trying to make it sound like real people. Do you realize what this means? I'm gonna be out of a job. I can't keep up with the output a machine voice can do. They can just keep cranking takes out. But me doing voice work takes it out of me. I've gotta have periods of rest. Like, can you imagine being made to say line after line after line without time to stop and rest your voice? Those robot voices don't need that. They can just keep on going and going and going. Oh, you can't see it, but I'm waving my hands around wildly to make my points as I describe this nightmare scenario. What word best describes what I'm doing? Amazing space. <laughs> it's an IOU for one fabulous prize. I ran out of time and couldn't find anything good, but you can redeem this at some point in the future for a real prize. I swear. Earth. It's a planet. But there's more of them out there, you know. Just how many planets are there in our solar system? Flags of the world. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Forty! This is a question for me, Forty! Take a look at this flag. Which country does it belong to? Smartboard. See you next time.
Probably geography. This goldfish I got from my dentist last week. I was such a good patient during the visit that I got this as a reward. I only screamed and thrashed and cried and yelled just a little bit. But then I realized that my apartment doesn't allow pets, so it's yours if you win it. <laughs> I'm going over Niagara Falls in a barrel! Did you know that Niagara Falls is actually three separate waterfalls? I think I'm going down the largest one! What was the name for it again? <laughs> You've just posted cringe! <laughs> Monumental Landmarks <laughs> Here to collect his paycheck, it's Forty the Smart Balls! You just can't get enough of me, huh? Here's your question. Take a look at this photo I took on my last vacation. Where am I? my duties. Bye for now. Science rules. I'm on the roller coaster here at Shovelware Studios Hollywood. As we go uphill, we're building a bunch of potential energy. Oh, it's so high. What type of energy is that converted to as we start to roll down here? Shovelware Studios. In Shrunken School Lobby, you're followed by a group of students as you try to escape the school. One of the students is a rambunctious jokester who always tells terrible puns. What color shirt does he wear? Talking about states. What state would something be said to be in if it was old, broken, and falling apart? 
Puzzling puzzlers! We know you love them. Here's Forty the Smartboard! More screen time! Yay! This set of pipes has four openings and four exits. You need to pour water in one of the openings so it reaches the exit with the bucket beneath it. The water will only flow downward with gravity and will not go upward through any pipes. Which opening do you pour the water through? Thanks for having me! See you next time! I don't like that. Which U.S. president is known for saying, The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. <laughs> Off the mark. <laughs> It's a six-month supply of Dancing Banana Ice Cream Bars from Shovelware Foods. This delicious fruity frozen treat features two chewy gumball eyes that we absolutely guarantee aren't placed anywhere close to how they are in the picture on the box. Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. <laughs> I'd like to see that pompous pepper over Google Games put on half a show as good as this. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by the Admiral Electronic Catalog. People still buy things from product catalogs, right?